Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Smith Optics Low Down Slim Number no. 2 sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 53 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge. So that's really a good standard size of sunglasses. So these are going to fit most people very well. I really like the looks of these frames. They're just a very simple looking sporty pair of sunglasses that looks really good on basically everybody's face. The exact colorway that I'm wearing right now have Smith's matte black frames with their chroma pop polarized gray green lenses and these lenses are very good the optical clarity of these is very nice they have an anti-reflective material here on the back side which is really nice and they're going to block 100 percent of uva and uvb rays as well and again these do have those nice polarized lenses now these are polymer lenses so they're not going to be quite as crisp and as clear as all glass lenses but they're going to be much more lightweight which is really nice now these sunglasses don't have any gaudy logos or anything like that on the front of the frames they just have a little chroma pop uh, etched on logo here in the top right lens and again that's etched in so you really can't see it unless you look very very close at it and then if we take a look here at the outside temples they just say smith on both the left and the right hand side so definitely not too much advertising on these frames which is really nice these sunglasses are kind of a mix between the original ray-ban wayfair as far as styling goes and the ray-ban new wayfair which i think is a really really good uh, mix to have on a pair of sunglasses. Now as far as weight goes, these sunglasses are extremely lightweight so you can wear these sunglasses all day long without any discomfort and I also really like the addition of these little rubberized nose rests that feels really good on the nose and is going to help the sunglasses stick to the, your nose and not fall off or you know slide down the face which also is really nice. Now, as far as uh, coverage from the sun goes, sunglasses are going to offer pretty decent coverage from sun, but definitely nothing too crazy. So here up top, we can see there is definitely a little bit of a gap to sunlight, you know, protected. And then here on the sides, there's a little bit of a bigger gap than I would particularly like on a pair of sports sunglasses. It's definitely not a deal breaker though. It's not that bad of a coverage, but not as good as I would like to see. Now, these sunglasses are in fact made in China, but nowadays almost all Oakley sunglasses are made in China as well. So that's kind of to be expected. And the build quality here feels pretty decent, just as good as a pair of Oakley sunglasses would be, or a lot of other brands in this same price point. Now, as far as pricing goes, a non-polarized pair of the sunglasses is going to run you about $100 directly from their website or in most stores. However, if you want a pair of polarized sunglasses, it's going to run you an extra $80. And I think the additional $80 price tag to go from a non-polarized pair to a polarized pair is absolutely ridiculous. That's just way, way, way too expensive. I'm not sure why it's that expensive, but the good news is you can actually pick these sunglasses up for way cheaper on Amazon. I picked up my pair for only $75 there, so I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to Amazon where you guys can save a lot of money on Smith Optics sunglasses. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure to subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.